In today's quick video, how the human body unloads CO2, starting right now. Hi everyone, uh, for this example, I want to use a steamboat going up the Mississippi. Now, the steamboat runs on wood. We have an unlimited supply of wood on board, so uh, as we're throwing wood into the engine, right, we're burning it, we're using that wood, converting that heat energy uh, to drive the paddle boat, right? Uh, the faster we drive the engine, the more oxygen we have to feed it, the more wood we have to throw into the oven. Agreed? And that's pretty much the oxygen side of things. Now, on a normal uh, paddle boat, uh, the exhaust would just go up into the air. Not on our paddle boat. Our paddle boat actually condenses that acid, all that gas, and drops it into little acid nuggets in a bucket right next to the wood. Okay, and we have to shovel and get that stuff off the boat because it's an acid. I right, just put it in the ocean like everything else and it'll be fine, it'll just go away magically, right? So, but we need to unload this acid off the boat, get it off. Now, the more wood we burn, the more acid chips we produce. So we got wood chips going in, burning, we got acid chips coming out that we have to shovel and get out. The shoveling of the acid chips represents your respiratory rate. We have to unload that acid from the body. So what do you think happens if the guy stops shoveling off those acid chips? Oh yeah, you know, the fuel's still going in, the guy's still throwing wood in the fire, it's burning, it's making acid. Eventually the acid will accumulate, burn a hole through the boat, and the boat sinks. In your patient, if they stop shoveling, they have stopped breathing. They're no longer offloading that CO2 and it will accumulate until they become very, very profoundly acidotic, uh, cardiac arrest and die. Now, if the guy stops unloading uh, the acid chips, which means he stopped breathing, he's no longer going to take any more fuel in, right? That kind of stopped the guy at the other side at the same time. However, that oven, that engine is still full of fuel and it's going to keep burning up all that fuel, producing all those acid chips, becoming more and more acidotic. So let's put this into context uh, in the human body. You're running, your body is using up all this oxygen, and you're producing all this CO2. When you stop running, you're breathing fast, not because you need more oxygen, but because you produced all this CO2 and you have to unload it. You gotta shovel that out of your body, and you're doing that with your respiratory rate. Probably go, go outside and run around right now. Uh, you probably won't need any oxygen at any point. You will, however, be breathing fast because your cells used up all the oxygen, produced all that CO2, and you had to shovel it off. So that is how the human body unloads CO2 uh, through the respiratory rate. 